The Indiana State Police Department says more tips are coming in regarding internet crimes against children. To help respond to these tips, Indiana State Police uses its dedicated task force. The task force has been instrumental in helping bust some local offenders right here in Terre Haute. News 10's Ben Verbanek explains how they're working to protect more children. The internet is an essential tool in our daily lives, but for predators, it can also be a weapon. Here in Indiana, the state police are on the front lines fighting child exploitation with a dedicated team in the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, and they work closely with local law enforcement to make sure that these predators are put behind bars. According to the task force's website, the rate of tips surrounding online exploitation have nearly quadrupled in the past four years. Sergeant Kevin Getz is an ISP veteran who spent years working on the task force. He says the digital age has made it all too easy for predators to commit crimes online. What the internet has allowed people to do is it's made the world smaller. So an individual in Terre Haute can trade child sex abuse material with an individual overseas. Detectives can find offenders by monitoring popular websites and collecting tips. The unit can be completely mobile if need be. This might look like an unassuming everyday passenger van, but it's actually a mobile high-tech crime unit that comes equipped with its own interrogation room. Detectives can take this vehicle directly to the offender and interrogate them while they investigate the suspect's online activity. And the suspects can be just about anyone. 30 years ago or 20 years ago, it used to be stranger danger. No, it's, it's not stranger danger anymore. Quite often, uh, uh, some of our suspects know these victims very personally. The ICAC works closely with local authorities in their investigations. Detective Josh Loudermilk is a head detective in the Juvenile Crimes Unit with the Terre Haute Police Department. He urges parents to keep an eye on their children's internet use. Our kids should not have unvetted access to the internet and to social media sites, gaming sites even, Roblox and, and things like that. That there are as many predators on there as there are, you know, some of your average websites. The ICAC's work is a great reminder that although the internet might connect us, it is important to stay vigilant. I'll have more information about the ICAC's work on our website. That's WTHITV.com. Reporting in Bloomington, Ben Verbanek, News 10.